It is really not that long ago that I presented the truck that you see right here, a DAF XF 6x2. It has sound, it has light, it is even able to drive around and steer and everything. So that turned out to be quite a popular video and in that video I promised that should it get 1000 views then I would give you free building instructions for the trailer it was hauling around. And I thought, hey, that's an easy promise to keep because what is this, what, 900 parts or so? And you know what? This trailer has 1,700 parts. It took me six full days to build the building instructions for it. So I really hope that you enjoy it. Now in this video, I'm just going to talk about the trailer. So if you want to see the truck driving around and everything, just see the old video. I link to that in the description below. I also link to the building instructions for this trailer in the description below of this video and the old one, of course, so they're easy to access. And in this video, I'm going to break down this trailer, tear it apart so that you can see how it's built. And then I'm also going to give you some insights into how to build your own because it is a bit complicated here and there. And of course, you can just follow the building instructions, but it might be easier to see this video first, then you know what you're getting into. The first tip that I'm going to show you is one that I'm repeating for all of my modern trailers. It is that the legs here must be up while the decoupler here is pointing forward. So the also decoupling mechanism of this trailer will work. So this little tap here, make sure that the latch inside of the truck right here is pushed down so that it decouples. And of course that has to work together with the legs so that the trailer is up when it decouples. And just make sure that that alignment is in place. You can do that while you're inserting this 10 long cross axle right here. Then you just have to make sure you have this alignment. For the wheel assembly, I'm quite proud of this compact design, but there's one thing that you have to watch out for when building this section, and that is the little tab that you see here in the top. Let me take it out, and you can see right here, I have put in this 2x2 plate in order to make this easier, but the important part is that the tab right there is pointing in this direction when you are inserting this part because then the clicker mechanism works as it should. The most complicated but also the weakest part of the design of this trailer is the roller shutter door here in the back. Now you have to push in in the top in order to even make it work because I'm not using the standard roller shutter from LEGO to do this. If it doesn't stay up then just push a bit here on the sides and then it stays up. It's easy to close but then you also sometimes have to push it a bit in in order for it to stay flush. As you see it is a bit a bit wobbly, but this was the best design I could come up with. The reason why it is as it is, is because it is based on track pieces, as you can see right here. So we can take out this part here, and up here we just have a uh, gliding section that goes back and forth. Then we have a rotating part right here, which helps guide the roller shutter and the roller shutter itself is based on a pair of chains. I use the chains and insert them into these 10 long plates and that is how the roller shutter is actually working. Then in order to make sure that the uh, lower part here uses the guides in the side of the trailer, I'm having these little 1x2 panels here sitting like this. It is a fairly complicated design but it is also nice to see something new. The holes in these chains, of course, they fit into the uh, pins underneath of the plates, but they also fit into these. Whoops, oh, that's good to coming out. They fit into these little holes in this fairly new part right here. And that is why this works together so nicely, or relatively nicely. So we have this custom made roller shutter door design. Looking inside of the trailer, you can see that the walls are sticking out a bit inside of it. And that is simply because I'm using standard Lego bricks in order to make the drawings on the sides. So sometimes you need to 
go into the space inside of the trailer in order to make everything work. But let's take a look at this. So in the writing here on the side of the truck is a technique that in the Lego sphere is called snot. Not that kind of snot, but studs not on top. So all you see right here is built sideways. So the studs, which are on top of the bricks, as an example right here, if we take out this section, they go sideways, so not on top. So that is the way that you can make semi-rounded shapes like in this O, but also make sure that the letters are easily writable. And using these one by one plates, by putting them on the side, you get a better granularity in order to make your design. But there's another trick to it, because the letters down here are fairly small. So in order to assist the writing, I am using small cheese bricks. And that's, uh, those are the ones that you're seeing right here as an example. Let's see if we can get into it. Mm -hmm. Like this R uh, right here. Okay, with a bit of violence, you can see a section such as this. This is the cheese brick. It hits another cheese brick here in the R in order to make sure that this R is very recognizable as the letter R. The same with the N. It wasn't really necessary, but I think using cheese bricks really highlights which letter it is. When you're building two cheese bricks together like this, it doesn't actually fit exactly as one brick in width. And because of that, you will see that it is pulling itself a bit apart. But because there are so many tiles and small pieces in this whole assembly, the small differences between the individual bricks actually make up for the slack. So this works. Lego itself does not use this building technique without also using some other fancy things in order to make sure that you have proper spacing. But as people who are not officially or making any official sets, you can make this kind of construction. It works, it looks nice, and you get a very nice font. And here you can really see what happens in the backside in order to make sure that things are actually working out. And that was it for this video. I hope you found it informative to get a look inside of this trailer and maybe you have the taste for building your own. I will keep you updated on all of my projects in the community tab where I'm posting semi-frequently. If you are a subscriber, you should get notifications that way. Otherwise, I have a lot of projects in the air with different kind of Lego models and I will post videos of them as soon as they are finished and I have something interesting to show. So that is it for now. Take care, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.